Banggood were kind enough to send me this product for review. It's a B-Link mini computer. It's actually listed on the website as a B-Link Gemini J45, but mostly listed as a B-Link J45. It comes with 8GB RAM, 256GB internal memory on an MSATA card, which is really quite fast. It has dual HDMI outputs capable of 4K. It's pre-installed with Windows 10. It also has Bluetooth 4.0 and Wi-Fi as well. So it's a very handy mini PC. If I flip the box over, we've got some information there. The mini PC is about four and a half inches long, four inches wide and about one and three quarter inches deep. It's got an Intel Apollo Lake Pentium processor, a J4205. For graphics, it's got an Intel HD Graphics 505, which is capable of 4K at 30 frames per second. And as you can see, this model is the 8 gigabytes and 256 gigabyte internal. There is also 4 gigabytes with 128 gigabytes internal, which is obviously less money. You can see that it's got wireless capability and also Bluetooth 4.0. And I'll go through the rest of the stuff actually as I'm showing you the PC itself. Inside the box we've got the mini PC, a wall mounting bracket with some mounting screws and I do believe there's some screws in there for attaching an extra hard drive. We've got two HDMI cables, a short one and one that's a little bit longer but still not very long. There is a UK power supply there and I believe that they ship whichever power supply is required for the country that it's ordered from. There's a little card there which tells you who to contact if you have any problems which I think is a nice touch and then we've got the user manual. So let's take a closer look at this mini PC. It is a really nice machine. It's very well made. So the top here, which is finished in a lovely shiny plastic, is the only part of the case that is plastic. The rest of it is aluminium. So we've got aluminium sides and an aluminium base as well. Each one of those rubber feet has got a screw inside and that's so that we can take the base off. And I'll show you inside in a minute when I fit a second hard drive. On the front of the mini PC, there is an on off button, a 3.5mm headphone socket and two USB 3 sockets. On the right hand side you can see that we've got air vents there and this unit is fitted with a fan for cooling. There is also the facility to fit a micro SD card in there should you so wish. On the rear of the machine you can see we've got the inlet for the fan there, two more USB 3 sockets, a socket there for an Ethernet cable, two HDMI sockets and as I said this mini PC is capable of producing graphics at 4K 30 frames per second. This is a power inlet, there's also the facility to lock the mini PC in an office or whatever if you want to leave it overnight. Going over to the left hand side we've got air vents there to allow airflow through the units when it's been pushed hard and the fans running. So I'm very impressed with the way the thing has been built. It is really, really nice to look at. Feels very solid. It's a nice looking mini PC. I've connected the power supply, the HDMI lead and a mouse and keyboard. And what I'm going to do now is turn it on and we'll see what happens on the startup process. So that's me switch the power supply on. This is connected to my 4K TV. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Is that right? So I'm setting up for the UK. Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. So that's a Wi-Fi connected. But that's just running on 4K now, so I'm going to play some 4K video off my YouTube channel. A recipe book, two little pieces of paperwork, a measuring beaker. So that's running now on 4K without any issues whatsoever and it's via my Wi-Fi signal. I haven't actually wired the Ethernet cable up to the back. But that is running 4K video absolutely fine with no issues at all. Just so that you're aware, when it installs Windows, it's actually Windows 10 Pro that is installed on the system. So the J4205 processor has a base speed of 1.5 GHz and a base speed of 2.6 GHz. It's got four cores and it runs in conjunction with the HG Graphics 505 GPU. So we'll open the back up and see what's inside. 
it is designed for this because there's a facility here to add another hard drive and that's exactly what I'm going to do right so that is the MSATA hard drive now an MSATA hard drive is just basically a miniature version of a two and a half inch SATA hard drive basically they're usually used in small laptops that type of thing that's it there and as you can see taped to the base there we've got a normal SATA connection the base is designed to accept a two and a half inch hard drive so I'm going to actually fit the hard drive onto the base and the screws are actually provided with the mini PC so basically that's how it needs to go so that's a hard drive screwed into the base there and it's nice and solid there's no issues with that at all so the next thing I'm going to do is connect the hard drive like so and that has just pushed in and then I replace the four screws so that's a hard drive fitted that took me literally five minutes maximum no longer than that so the other thing that I want to show you is this bracket now the screws are provided for this as well so I'm going to attach this bracket to these two brass fittings and this is what I wanted to show you my TV or one of my TVs I haven't looked at all of them has got pre-drilled and tapped holes for this bracket to fit into which means if you're one of these minimalistic people you can literally hide the mini PC you won't see it at all and remember at the beginning I told you that we get supplied with a long and a short HDMI cable depending on what setup you've got the short one can plug directly into the back of the unit without taking up any space and then the long one is designed to go into the other slot and connect it to another monitor that is completely tucked away you won't be able to see it from the front I think that's a brilliant idea so I'm on the mini PC now and I'm using power director which is my video editing software and I've put together a small uh, video for another review that I'm doing and as you can see we've got the four clips there these are 1080p clips and obviously this is the edited bit at the bottom I've actually cut quite a bit out and we'll see if it produces it so as you can see it's taken about 13 minutes to produce two minutes worth of HD 1080p video so let's actually have a look at the video it's produced I bought this Logitech MK270 wireless keyboard and mouse to go with a mini PC that I've got so as you can see there are no issues with the video it's produced it's fine quality and the sound is fine so it's pretty good at editing so this is what the fan sounds like when it's running on full power I am really impressed with this mini computer it does everything that my main computer does apart from running fast games there's no point trying to play fast games on this it will not cope with it and it won't edit things like 4k video but as I've shown earlier on you can edit HD video it just takes a bit more time now the other thing about this is I've been using it as a TV box because you can run Netflix and Amazon Prime Kodi all that sort of stuff on that so it serves two purposes you could get one of these and get a computer and a TV box in one one thing that's worth bearing in mind is the power consumption on this is 12 watts so this actually uses 12 watts maximum power my PC, the one I use every day for hours on end, uses 460 watts, or it's got a 460 watt power supply. So if you use this on a regular basis, just for general PC usage, which is what it's designed for and is very good at, you can save an awful lot of money just by using it for a normal usage. Now we've got a canal boat and I'll be taking this on the boat because it'll be brilliant for our battery pack that uses very little power it does everything that I want it to do and also when I go away on holiday I'll be taking this with me because for years now I've had a real job trying to store camera footage I've been using on the go equipment and it's been a nightmare this will make things very very easy it's basically a PC that virtually fits in your pocket I cannot wait to go on holiday and start using it it will make my life so much easier anyway I think it's a smashing product I hope you've enjoyed this review and thank you for watching.